I don't care how many essays you've written, how many books you've published, or how many hours you write a day. You will never be a master in this profession. And Madam Crystal Butterfly, if you have been absolutely adoring these videos I'm making, please like, comment, and if you haven't yet, slap that subscribe button like it owes your money. And don't forget to give that little notification bell a ring. Alrighty, that is enough dilly to dally. Let's get to the good stuff. Just like I said in the intro, no matter how hard you work, study, and practice, you will never become a true master of writing in the sense you will learn every little thing you need to know about the craft. It's impossible, so give up that pipe dream now. Don't cry. Don't, don't cry. Don't, don't get upset. Don't get upset. It's okay. Never being a true master of writing does not mean you will be a craptastic author. In fact, you still have more than enough potential to become one of the greats. If you've ever watched the King of Horror, Stephen King, do an interview, he always talks about, even though he's been in the game for all these years, He's still learning something new. And that's the key to being a good author. Your willingness to constantly be able to learn new things about this craft. Because if you're going to be a writer, you have to accept that the profession you have chosen isn't something that drives for a while then stops. Nope. It's an ever-moving, ever-changing, ever-evolving animal. No matter what you do, something new in the world of literature is going to happen and you need to make sure to learn from it if you wish to improve. If you're willing to do that, then slowly you can evolve into one of the great authors, even one that's talked about long after we're gone. But those who are stubborn and want to act like, I know everything. I, I, I know everything about writing. I've been writing for years. There's, there's nothing you can really tell me about that. Those are the people who stagnate and eventually just fall off the map as an author because they were unwilling to evolve. And I'm bringing this up because there are a lot of writers, especially ones who get found and become big time when they're very young who adopt this attitude. And that is the one thing you must always, always avoid. And with that, my lovelies, this video is a wrap. Now, if you please, come with me as we dance into a world of magic.